Hello and welcome to Ambient Skies. Ambient Skies is an integrated skies, post effects and lighting system that makes it easy to get really beautiful lighting regardless of the pipeline you're using in Unity 3D. Let's enable Ambient Skies in this scene. If we enable skies and open up our global settings, what we have here are the high level settings that Ambient Skies needs to control your scene. Ambient Skies has a bunch of pre-configured and pre-generated HDRI skies, plus Unity's procedural skies and Unity's gradient skies if you're in HDRP. Let's add a nice HDRI sky to this scene. Instantly, we've transformed the look of this scene and we've got some more lighting in it, but it still looks pretty bland and that's because we haven't turned our post effects on yet. So let's enable our post processing. Boom, instantly we've transformed our scene. Okay, so let's look at what's going on here. Inside of our skies settings, we've got a whole bunch of settings that control how your sun works, your skybox works, your ambient light, your fog, your shadows, and so on and so on. Then in our post effects tab, we've got some high level post effects, which allow you to choose things like your uh, anti-aliasing mode, and also your profile, which is all the different processing settings that relate to your scene. Then in our lighting tab, what we've got is the ability to bake lighting and, and some instructions on how to do so. And then also all the settings that go with configuring Unity to get the best possible lighting. Now we haven't baked lighting for this scene, so what you're seeing is just pure read, real time in editor. You will always get a better result if you take the time to bake your lighting. So inside these settings, depending on what we've chosen, we will actually enable and disable different parts of the lighting system in Unity. So let's go back to that and you can see we can configure everything here. And if you're ever not sure, open up our help system and you'll get context sensitive help on every single screen, as well as an, a bit of an introduction to what those settings do. It's a great place to learn about how lighting works in Unity. And then finally, we have an information tab. Here we give you information and access to tutorials and also um, articles that Unity has posted on lighting and then a set of instructions on how to get set things up to get the best effect in your scene. Now, Ambient Skies works uh, in edit mode, but it works equally as well in runtime. And in runtime, what we can do is change everything. We get the best possible look out of our scene. We really see how it looks in game. And if you leave the ambient size window open, when you drop out of runtime mode, you'll be able to keep those settings back in the editor. So let's do that right now. One of the cool things while Unity is starting up for us <clears throat> is that ambient skies encourage you to play. You can change any setting and see its effect in real time. And if you don't like what you've done, you can always go back and hit the revert to settings button so that you can recover those settings and not lose your work. So we've already transformed this scene quite nicely. Let's explore the different sorts of things we can do with ambient skies. So let's choose another skybox. Here we've chosen a different skybox and a different time of day. We've enabled all the beautiful volumetric effects you get with HD in this example. And when you look down in this stuff, it looks pretty nice. Let's try a different lighting setting. This is the same skybox, but what we've done is we've baked the time at a different time of day. Just gives you a different sort of a look. And what we've also done, if you notice this auto match post processing to skybox, if you enable this, Every time we choose another look, we're also what we've also done is pre-configured one of the post effects profiles so that you can match the look to the lighting you're looking for. If we look at um, this one, if we go into our post effects, it's selected box Blockbuster 2 for us. But we actually have something like 30 odd different post processing profiles. So let's have a play with this setting here. It's quite a nice setting, but let's choose another one. In fact, let's just keep flipping through all the different looks that Ambient Skies gives you. 
Now, it's something that I personally like, and we haven't really switched them on because we think it's also very much to, to do with personal preference, is the vignetting. Personally, I love vignetting. I love how you can just increase the vignette look around your scene. I'll just prop this out the road and show it to you in a bit more detail. So you can see what we're doing is we're darkening the edges of the scene so that it draws your eyes into the scene and into the thing you're looking at. <clears throat> But what I'll do <clears throat> is I'll flip through some of the other post-processing settings we've got. There's our forest, fusion, futuristic, grayscale, high fantasy. Depending on your lighting and the time of day and so on, you really can get a huge amount of different looks in your scene. This is our post-apocalyptic one. And then the other thing you can do also is if you want to change something about that specific uh, profile you're using, we can get in and let's just dial up. We can even turn off ambient occlusion. We can turn it on. We can maybe dial it up to be stronger or not quite so strong. And when you finish in play mode and then uh, if you leave ambient skies open, ambient skies will keep those settings for you. All right, so let's just flip through some of these other looks and they are pretty good. Let's say that we didn't want to have this time of day. Maybe we wanted to modify our skybox and maybe change, maybe rotate it a bit. Let's go and do that. Let's go to our skybox. We can maybe increase this exposure and increase the overall light in our scene, or perhaps decrease it and make it a bit more moody. And then we can do things like rotate the skybox and actually have our sun rotate with the skybox. And we can change where the sun is in the in the in the scene. So you can also modify that. And let's even choose an entirely different lighting system. So these are the HDRS guys that we've provided with ambient skies. Let's go to Unity's procedural skies. All of a sudden we've got a whole different look and a whole different time of day. And we can go and configure this and modify this to our heart's content. So we also have a time of day system, um, which works with the procedural skies at Unity. So as your game plays, you'll get a time of day happening. Uh, we can modify again, all these different settings. Let's change, you know, the pitch of the sun, maybe the rotation. A bit of reflection off those lights there, off those windows. And then uh, we can maybe even increase the, the, the intensity. So hopefully what you're seeing here is there's a lot of different creative possibility with ambient skies. The other thing we do in ambient skies um, is we have an automated reflection probe setup system so that we can either automatically place reflection probes across your entire scene or manually in your scene. And we can also set up your light probes to automatically light probe your scene. So there's a bunch of really cool and useful little utilities that we provide in Ambient Skies. Something else that's rather cool and is a favorite of mine, I love <clears throat> playing around with depth of field when I am exploring my environment. So you can do it manually or you can actually have an autofocus system. And we've actually got a bunch of different ones that we've we've created with Ambient Skies. It can follow the center of your screen. You can have the focus follow a target. You can right mouse click or left mouse click, or even set it at a fixed offset. So I can go left mouse click and click here. And actually we're focusing down here now in our scene. If I just go back to manual mode, you can also then dynamically change how these focus settings are set up. Let's go and have a, a quick look at some of the other settings. Um, we've looked at our sunny morning, but let's just go to say clear day. Again, another interesting light effect. Sunny evening, clear night. So we've got some nice sort of night effects there. Good for, you know, some sorts of games. Let's try night light and look at say post-apocalyptic. So you can combine the two. So you've got a, another different way of looking. 
you know, different lighting, different post effects, all of a sudden a very, very different effect in your scene. Uh, foggy mornings rather cool. And there's just so much you can do. The, the beauty of ambient skies is that you're really just limited by your imagination. And, um, you know, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.